Good evening, my fellow citizens. This government, as promised, I have ordered attack on our enemy military. The is going on over that now. To support this defensive effort by the South Vietnamese, I have ordered attacks on enemy military targets in both North and South Vietnam by the air and naval forces of the United States. President Nixon ordered Operation Linebacker, which was a heavy, heavy bombardment of North Vietnam and heavy support of our troops in the South. And so the tempo on that 72, 73 cruise was higher than anything I've ever experienced in the Navy. My name is Ed Murray, and I was the maintenance chief of the photographic reconnaissance squadron or detachment that was based on Midway. We all knew that when the pilots, when they went over the beach, they were gonna be shooting at them. So we wanted to make darn sure they had the best possible airplane that they could fly because they were flying into harm's way. The photo version of the RF-8U Crusader is fitted with cameras. It's built with the cameras inside the fuselage of the aircraft. And so there's cameras out either side, there's cameras down, straight down, and then there's a camera in the nose pointing down. So what we do before the mission is we load all those cameras with film to shoot all those uh, photographs that they take. I am absolutely in awe of the photographic reconnaissance pilots. In the detachment, we had four photographer's mates. They're enlisted men who, their specialty are cameras and rigging those cameras to work properly. They would go out before a strike, they would photograph the targets, come back, they'd go down into the bowels of the ship and they'd study those photographs. And from those photographs, they would plan the strike or the bombing attack on that particular target. When the strike on the target was done, that was when it was really hazardous for photo reconnaissance pilots. The area is going to be clouded with, with smoke and, and fire, and the wind is blowing. So they have to come in on that target at roughly 3,500 feet. The enemy knows they're coming at about 3,500 feet. They know from the direction of the wind what direction that photo reconnaissance plane will be coming at and they just, they throw everything they've got at them as they make that photographic run. To give you an idea, we had three aircraft on here and we lost two of them during the cruise. I'm in total admiration of those pilots we had. It's a very, very dangerous profession and uh, they went out there every day and they never flinched. It was amazing. This is the earlier version of a photographic reconnaissance aircraft. This is an F9F8 Cougar. It has six cameras, one camera underneath the airplane, which photographs the earth vertical, four cameras on the side, two on this side and two on the other side that photograph horizontally out from the aircraft. There's another camera right here that photographs the ground ahead of the aircraft. This aircraft flew probably 450 to 550 miles an hour back in 1954.